We start with breaking news this hour. Demonstrators have clashed with police in the French capital over a security bill, which is expected to give more protection to officers while also boosting surveillance powers. Over 80 arrests have been made so far. We can now bring in live RT Charlotte Dubinsky, who's at one of the demonstrations in Paris. Charlotte, tell us what's going on there. Well, I just want to give you a sense of how big this crowd is, because it's only as we're getting closer to the end of this protest, the March to the Republic, that we understand really how many people have come out. There are thousands and thousands. I just want to get the camera to get you to look up the street, which is completely packed. And then, if it's possible to turn the camera around, you'll see how many people are still coming. And then the lights of the police behind. Uh, this is how strongly people feel against these laws that are going through uh, the current uh, French system. Laws have been proposed by the French government. There was, from the offset here, tension and violence in this protest. Uh, violence from the protesters throwing uh, bottles towards the police. Uh, the police responding with tear gas, uh, sometimes spraying people directly in the face with aerosols. There is a massive security presence here in Paris today to try and keep this under control. Uh, as I said, for the beginning, there was a lot of violence. It does feel as if the security forces have been able to keep some semblance of control of this protest, at least in the last half hour. But as well as those individuals who've been detained, you said uh, several dozen, there have also been a number of people injured as well. We saw at least two people with head injuries, other people who are getting attention from medics here in the protest, just to give you a sense of how rough it has been. Now, this protest has been called against two things, two laws that are currently being put forward by the French government. The first one is the global security law. Specific people are unhappy with Article 24. This article would have criminalised the idea of publishing images of the police had there been intent to harm the police. However, following the backlash, following the protest, the government has said it will look at rewriting that particular law. But at the same time, it's introduced this second law. This second law that is still being called as the separatism law. It's now got a new name. It's promoting Republican values. And it contains an article which has a very similar remit to that controversial Article 24. So people are hugely unhappy with that. And that's some of the reason that they've come out today. Now, the police say that these articles are designed to keep them safe. And in fact, they are, I think things need to go even further. And they're unhappy with the government themselves, specifically President Macron. That's because a week ago he gave an interview in which he said uh, one line which has infuriated the police, and that was that there were more controls carried out on non-white individuals in France than there were of white individuals. And he talks about setting up a platform in January where people will be able to lodge complaints about discrimination by the police. That has infuriated the police unions, some of whom have called for controls to be stopped by the union members, and they've taken to the streets themselves to protest because they're now saying that they think President Macron is calling them racist. Let's have a listen to what the police who were protesting on Friday evening had to say. The problem is that the police lack resources and personnel. They lack many things, and when they ask for help, no one is listening. On the other side, we then criticize the police, which I think is like a step in the back. Emmanuel Macron ends up telling the media that the police are racist. I can guarantee my colleagues are not racist. Today, if they demonstrate, and if they continue to demonstrate, it is to show you that they are not racist. 
And no, there is no racial control within the police. Well, the government is obviously pushing ahead with these laws, rewriting parts of them. But the reality is, as you can see from the crowds here in Paris, people are still furious about this. This is not the only protest taking place in France. There are dozens of others. But as you said earlier, there has already been marked violence at this protest. Uh, not as heightened violence as we saw a week ago, uh, but it's still very early in the day. And I can tell you that people here are very, very angry. RT's Charlotte Dubinsky is staying across the latest on the demonstrations in Paris for us. Thank you.